just over a year after killing off its classic three-wheeler for the second time in its 113-year history, Morgan is back with a radically updated trike. Called the Super 3, it moves the three-wheeler on from the 1920s-inspired version we've become accustomed to over the last decade. Instead of spindly wire wheels in an exposed V-twin motorcycle engine slung across the nose, this one takes its styling cues from the early jet age, has disc-style wheels that evoke images of Porsche 935s, and gets its motive power form a three-cylinder Ford car engine. Though pedestrian safety groups are probably delighted to see the back of the old s and V-twin, which wasn't capable of passing future emissions tests, for the rest of us that substitution might seem like a bad thing. But Morgan points out that it made a similar switch in the 1937 when it introduced the Morgan F-Series. The difference is that F-Type had less than 40 horsepower, and this one has 117 horsepower, 118 PS, along with 110 pound-feet, 150 newton meters, of torque, which is sent to the single rear wheel via a 5-speed Mazda MX-5 transmission. And being a triple, it should have at least some of the Wumpa 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 vibes that made the previous 115 horsepower bike engine three-wheeler so characterful. Those numbers might not sound impressive, but don't forget the Super 3 only weighs 1,400 pounds, 635 kilograms. Morgan says 0 to 62 miles per hour should take around 7 seconds and suggests a 130 miles per hour, 209 kilometers per hour, top speed, but given how crazy the last version felt at half that speed, we can't imagine many buyers getting that far. The great thing about something like the Super 3 is that you don't even need to break the speed limit to feel like you're risking serious jail time. Style-wise, the newly exposed snout is reminiscent of the electric EV3 concepts, development of which Morgan killed off in 2018, while bodywork that tapers from the waist gives the car a lighter, more modern, and also weirdly aquatic, look. But the changes going on beneath that skin are even bolder. Instead of a being built around a space frame chassis, the new trike features a true monocoque where the outer panels contribute to the structural strength of the superformed aluminium platform. The suspension is also entirely new, having been redesigned to shorten the turning circle, leave space for air to flow to the side-mounted radiators, and reduce unsprung mass by bringing the spring and damper units inboard. Even the skinny tires have been custom-engineered, in this case by Avon, to provide just the right amount of slip. Inside the cabin, there are more jet-age styling cues, particularly around the dual-gauge instrument pack that combines digital technology with a Cold War look that's topped off by the bank of toggle switches below. One feature carried over from the outgoing car is the missile release start-stop button, but there are some important new additions like a quick-release adjustable pedal box, a reach and rake adjustable steering column, and even a footwell heater to help you get comfortable and stay that way. Weather protection isn't the Super 3's strong suit, you get a to-no cover for when you're parked up, but no soft top, but Morgan says everything has been designed to survive nature's hissy fits. Dashboard controls and even the USB sockets are sealed from dust and water splashes, and the four upholstery options have also been designed with resilience in mind. Buyers can choose from vinyl, water-resistant leather, saddle leather and the really cool technical fabric seen in the press images of the red car that is both water and UV resistant. Luggage can be stored under the lift-up trunk panel, attached to the top side of it using an exoskeleton luggage rack, strapped to the side pods, or stashed in the lockable under-seat storage area. Some of those options require a trip to the actual options list where you'll also find fixings for things like cup holders, phones, and two different screens, which you choose depending on how badly you want your head battered by bugs and the breeze. And, just as with the old car, customers will also be able to choose from a variety of graphics packages. Inside the cabin, there are more jet-age styling cues, particularly around the dual-gauge instrument pack that combines digital technology with a Cold War look that's topped off by the bank of toggle switches below. One feature carried over from the outgoing car is the missile release start-stop button, but there are some important new additions like a quick-release adjustable pedal box, a reach and rake adjustable steering column, and even a footwell heater to help you get comfortable and stay that way. Weather protection isn't the Super 3's strong suit, you get a to-no cover for when you're parked up, but no soft top, but Morgan says everything has been designed to survive nature's hissy fits. Dashboard controls and even the USB sockets are sealed from dust and water splashes, and the four upholstery options have also been designed with resilience in mind. Buyers can choose from vinyl, water-resistant leather, saddle leather and the really cool technical fabric seen in the press images of the red car that is both water and UV resistant. Luggage can be stored under the lift-up trunk panel, attached to the top side of it using an exoskeleton luggage rack, strapped to the side pods, or stashed in the lockable under-seat storage area.
some of those options require a trip to the actual options list where you'll also find fixings for things like cup holders, phones, and two different screens, which you choose depending on how badly you want your head battered by bugs and the breeze. And, just as with the old car, customers will also be able to choose from a variety of graphics packages.